it's an interesting debate about clips and, and feeder fishing and when to use, when not to use one. Do you always use one? And I have times when I think it's mega important and other times when I think it's important not to fish with a clip. It's quite deep here. I had a count of four, just over four seconds on a one ounce bomb when I plumbed up. And uh, that's about 10 to 12 foot, I'm gonna say. And I think when it's deep water, you can sort of pretty much get away with a clip most of the time because you've got the variance of um, when your feed is landing, it's swinging back towards you. It's not on top of itself as accurately, I don't think, as when it is in shallow water because it's got more of a swing. Sometimes when it's towing, you know, you get a bit of movement. But in shallow water, not like today, I think sometimes it's really important not to fish with a clip because your feed is landing right on top of the feeding fish on, on your swim and it can kind of spook fish and you can usually tell that by the amount of time it takes you to get a bite. A lot of the time in deep water, your feeder hits the bottom, the fish has probably followed it down and you get quite a quick bite. In shallow water, it's quite noticeable that you can chuck it in sometimes have to wait a little while and I think that's because the fish have dispersed with the noise, the disturbance and they come back to you. And I shall probably find myself fishing with the clip most of the day today. Um, because it is hard, we're not casting in that regular. We could be fishing 10 minute uh, chucks, uh, could take that one to get a bite, especially if the skimmers rock up, you know, they won't be instant feeders. And um, so I, I do think it's a clip day, but bear that in mind when, you, when you're fishing and you're looking at the, these sort of things, the fish might have backed off. Some people like the safety of a clip. You might find yourself, if you do want to fish around your bait and not all in one sort of pile, is you can actually take your clip off and move it a couple of ring lengths, that's about 50 centimetres, so a couple of them and it's a metre, put a wine back on, clip it back up. You don't have to be super accurate all the time.